come on, Mo. <laughs> hey, Jeff, what are you doing? Uh, taking Mo for his walk. See you in a week. <laughs> the, the, the doctor said you need to rush your injured buttocks. <sighs> Look, I'm not going to let a broken tailbone stop my life. And the way he was eyeing my coat rack, I don't think I have much choice. <laughs> Look, you heard yourself trying to help me. Let me help you. I'll, I'll walk more. I don't know, Luis. You've never owned a dog. How hard can it be? If they poop, you scoop. <laughs> if they pee, you're free. <laughs> well, somebody take him. He's about to cross his little legs. <laughs> okay. Now, just make sure that he stays on the sidewalk. Okay, he likes to park at Adams and think Sycamore. It's his tree of choice. Relax, everything will be fine. Oh, 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 and don't let him sniff that boxer with the rhinestone choker. She's a real bitch. <laughs> For energy, you've got the razzmatazz berry. For fiber, uh, the banana ram is good. Uh, if you want to fight a cold, oh, um... let me guess, flemonade. <laughs> <laughs> well, just show me the woman. Tastes good. Oh, that would be across the street. It's called a milkshake. Oh, look <laughs> at the table. You choose. Good luck. Thank you. Oh my God, it's you. And it's you. I can't believe it. Me neither. Oh, I'm sorry. Have we met? Well, not exactly, but I do have something I want to show you. You do, and I'll have a cop here so fast it'll make your head spin. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm talking about this. It's from around 1880. Five years ago, I was walking past an antique store in Wyoming, and I, I just felt drawn to it. Oh, it's very pretty. If I owned it, I would enjoy showing it to strangers, too. Oh, look, there's a stranger. Go show him. Wait, please, just look at the picture inside. That looks like me. I know this sounds crazy, but the moment I saw that picture, I felt I knew this woman. That is me. I know. I couldn't stop thinking about her, so I went to see a psychic who told me that this woman, you, were my soulmate that we were together in a past life and destined to meet again in this one in a smoothie bar actually her guess was an appliance store but you got to allow some margin of error anytime nana i don't need a lid believe me i am as weirded out by this as you are oh i don't think so <laughs> look could we get together sometime just to talk i'm sorry really i uh just think about it okay there's my number look uh Paul, I, um... Take your time. I've been waiting a century. Another day or two won't kill me. Oddest thing it just happened to me at the counter. I just met someone who claims he knew me in a past life. So much for my nickel that landed on its side. Jack. How are you feeling? Never better. I can't kneel, squat, or bend, but thanks to my trusty rubber donut, I can sit like a fiend. You care for some coffee with that donut? <laughs> you know, uh, the key to coping with an injury is to have a sense of humor about it. Well, keep that up, you'll have a chance to find out. Oh, how's my little boy? Oh, Jack, this dog is unbelievable. I couldn't go more than 10 feet without a woman stopping to play with him. <laughs> Ended up getting three phone numbers, eh? Anybody? You are irresistible. Come on, my little Romeo. I got a old box of liver snaps for you in my office. Well, where's the fire? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Let me walk the dog. Oh, no, no, no. Jack uh, trusted me with the job. Well, then let me go with you. I mean, Luis, do you have any idea how long it's been since I've gotten to, uh, walk a dog? <laughs> All right, fine, but uh, you go alone, okay? I don't want women thinking that we're some kind of couple. Yeah, well, if you ask me, the guy's a psycho. Vicky, the guy was perfectly harmless. All right, and Son of Sam was just your average Joe who happened to hear Satan speaking through the neighbor's beagle. <laughs> Who are we talking about here? 
I met this guy who thinks that he knows me from a past life. No shortage of fruitcakes in this town, I doubt. Well, I've had a number of past lives. Ladies and gentlemen, exhibit A. Oh, no, that's true. In the 14th century, I was an indentured servant who played the lute. In the 16th century, I was a Franciscan monk who apparently made a wonderful blackberry jam. And you know this because? Well, the other monks, they used to compliment me on it. it was... I meant the past lives. Oh, well, you know, my parents are heavy into this stuff. For my eighth birthday, they hired a hypnotherapist to send all my friends into past life regressions. My parents hired a drunk Cinderella who puked on my cake. <laughs> hey, Todd, do you know how I get a hold of one of these hypnotherapists? Uh, yeah, I got a card here somewhere. Okay, come on. You cannot really believe in all this past life stuff. I don't, but I have a deadline. And writing about this guy makes a much better story than the jock strap I found in my dryer at Laundryland. <laughs> Reminds me of the time I lost my codpiece in 1649. You know, Paul, just because I'm here doesn't mean I believe you. So you're just here because of the sheer power of my animal magnetism. <laughs> that and the irresistible lure of your lime cologne. Oh, sorry, I spilled. I was hoping my ice blue speed stick would cover it. But now I just smell like a piece of key lime pie. That's my favorite. You must be right. We are soulmates. Oh, come on. Give it a chance. If we really are soulmates, we probably have some things in common, right? Why don't I just start? I'm a novelist. Really? Would I know anything you've written? Only if you've broken into my apartment. <laughs> I am currently going through my no one will publish me period. Yeah. How about you? Well, I write a column for the gate. So we're both writers. Interesting. Or coincidence. Well, let's keep going. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, what do you do for fun? Well, let's see. I like whale watching and hiking, and uh, I know this sounds corny, but uh, I really like hanging out with my grandfather. I thought this was weird before, but... Um, what? Well, two weeks ago I went whale watching. I go hiking all the time, and I have a very close relationship with my grandmother. Really? Is Jack here? Yeah, he's in his office. Hey, where, where's Mo? <laughs> I met an unbelievably gorgeous woman. Yeah, good for you. Where's Mo? And I got so involved in talking to her that I didn't realize he'd run away. That's not funny. I'm serious. I lost Mo. No, you didn't. You couldn't have. Jack put me in charge. I'm responsible for him. Okay, then I guess you lost Mo. All right, here are the flyers. You go west of the park, I'll go east of the park. Todd, you can't put a work number on these. If people call here, Jack will find out. Uh, find out what? Oh, nothing. nothing. <laughs> so what's going on? Where... Where's Mo? Oh, he's... <laughs> he's in a doggy spa. A doggy spa? What is he doing there? Tell him, Todd. Uh, well, it's two o'clock. I think that's swim class. <laughs> Look, I don't care about his schedule. I want to know why you brought him someplace without my permission. Oh, because he got sprayed by a skunk. That's right. And, and he smells, you know, like a skunk. Skunky. Yes, yeah, yeah, we wanted to get him cleaned up before you shock him. Or smelled him, because he smells... Skunky. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Look, where is he, and when can I pick him up? Oh, you can. Well, uh, until tomorrow. Right, because we sprung for the overnight deluxe package. Yes, and the tomato soak alone takes hours. Hours? No. <laughs> okay, so, first thing, tomorrow morning, right? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, actually, checkout is at 11. And you'd hate for him to miss the brunch. <laughs> I can't believe you're going to let some wacko hypnotize you. <laughs> no offense, Swami. I told you, it's Shirley. Vicky, if I am going to do this story, I have to explore it fully. Okay, anyway, what are you going to do? Put her in a trance and get her to quack like a duck? <laughs> That's not the way it works, Vicky. Is it? No, dear. First, I'll put you into a fully conscious hypnotic state. 
and then we'll attempt a past life regression to the 1880s. Okay, okay, but I mean, for the sake of argument, you could get her to strip naked and sing jingle bells every time the phone rings. <laughs> Who is this woman? I don't know, but uh, maybe on my way back from the Old West, I could stop off in the 50s and make sure her parents never meet. <laughs> Sorry, this is a non-stop regression. <laughs> I gotta see this. You're getting sleepy. Sleepy! <laughs> I'll make her oink like a pig. <laughs> Susan, I can't make her do anything she wouldn't do when wide awake. Well, she don't oink. You should see her at breakfast. <laughs> Let's get to you, shall we? All right, but we're missing a golden opportunity here. <laughs> now, where are you? I'm in a town. A small town. Good, good. What do you see? I see horses. Wagons. I'm walking with someone. I know her. I am tired of being a 30 cent hooker. I want more for my life. Well, honey, if you work hard and keep your nose clean, maybe someday you'll be a 50 cent hooker. <laughs> you know what I dream about? I dream that one day a man will just suddenly appear and take me away from all of this. <gasps> Not him. Hello. Sheriff? Sheriff. Clem here bothering you? Oh, no more than usual. Come on, Clem. You got a wedding to get ready for. It. I know my dream man is out there. And when he finally gets here, I know exactly what he's going to say. He'll say, sorry it took me so long. Oh, honey, when I was working, I heard that every night. <laughs> Well, if it isn't the town trial, it's out for a stroll. Afternoon, Miss Jenkins. Tell me, what size stick do you have up your bustle today? Don't you sass me, strumpet. If you don't mend your sinful ways, you will burn in the fiery pits of hell. Oh, could we cut this sermon short? As long as Elsa here is standing up, neither one of us is making a dime. Well, I declare, the streets are not safe for decent folk. That's right. Oh, Tell your husband that he still owes me for Friday. <laughs> I ain't doing this for the exercise. Well, I never. That's why he's paying for it. Or <laughs> right there, you mangy varmint. <laughs> okay, Sheriff. Don't shoot. I'm putting down the gun. Okay putting down the money, all right? Uh, you wouldn't shoot a man in the back, would you? <laughs> you move your hand any lower, it'll cost you a quarter. The hell? I got the money. <laughs> oh! You shouldn't have ought to done that, lady. Stop! She's my meal ticket! <laughs> Sorry, it took me so long. At the count of three, you will be wide awake and totally refreshed. One, two, three. Damn it! But not necessarily in a good mood. Uh, uh, I didn't get to see his face. He was wearing a, a kerchief. I, send me back. Send me back, please. Oh, I wish I could, but I have another appointment. Uh, I feel great. <laughs> Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey, that one's on the house. <laughs> Let me guess, the town hussy is still obsessing about her midnight cowboy. <laughs> I can't help it. Oh, this kiss, this kiss was well. Let's just say it was mighty fun. I mean, I felt this kiss all the way down to my feet. Has that ever happened to you? Well, I had a guy suck my toes once. <laughs> the point is, this kiss was a kiss that you would remember for a century. All right, don't get carried away, okay? Remember Shirley said it might have been a dream? Or an old episode of Gunsmoke? <laughs> well, what if it wasn't? Huh? I mean, what if Paul really is my soulmate and we were meant to be together? Well, then for your sake, I hope he's gorgeous. Oh, 
Gorgeous isn't everything. And he's charming. He's funny. He smells like my favorite pie. <laughs> well, then latch on and never let him go. That's it. We put up posters. We look for him all night. There's nothing left to do. Just tell Jack the truth, huh? Eh? You're right. You just suck it up. Take it like men. Oh, boys, how's Mo? Fantastic. Super, looks great. Good. <laughs> well, that's funny. Because I just got off the phone with someone responding to Moe's lost dog flyer. Now, how do you explain that? Damn that spa! They must have let Moe escape! Well, I'm never taking my dog there. <laughs> Don't make me chase you! Hi, I'm Jack Richmond. And a neighbor of yours called me about a dog you found recently. Tell him to go away, Daddy. I'll handle this, sweetheart. Oh, Mo. Look at you. <laughs> Come on, boy. Let's go home. Punch him, Daddy. I said I'll handle this. How do we know the dog is yours? Oh, look at his tag. Doesn't have one. Well, he did yesterday. Lindsay, did the dog have a tag when you found him? No, no tag. Sweetheart? I said no tag. Don't ask me again. She said no tag. <laughs> Lindsay, hi. I, I know you really like the dog, but he did You're have a, a bad tag. man. Go away. Ow. It hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> Look, that is my dog, and I would like him back. I think he's the man from the playground, Daddy. <laughs> they caught him, sweetheart. Okay, tell you what, um, you stand there and call the dog, and if the dog is yours, it should come. Right? You'd think. <laughs> okay, you want proof? I'll give you proof. Mo? Hi. Come to Daddy. <laughs> come on, Mo, we talked about this. You're not gonna make me do this, are you? That's a good boy. Give Daddy a kiss. Aww. And then he jumped off his horse and he kissed me. Oh, man, that sounds like something I'd do. <laughs> if I knew how to ride a horse. It was incredibly romantic. Was it anything like this? Not really. Well, we haven't kissed in 120 years. We're bound to be a little rusty. Are you sure we weren't brother and sister? You know what they say? Third time's the charm. I, I, I don't think so. Would it help if I rented a horse? It's not gonna happen, I'm sorry. Yeah, I am too. I should have known this wouldn't work. What wouldn't? I didn't find that photo of you in a watch. I doctored it with a computer from a picture of you I already had. You had a picture of me? I work as a developer at the photomat store you go to. <laughs> That's why I know so much about you, the whale watching, the hiking, everything. Are you out of your mind? Do you realize I could have you arrested, committed? You could probably snap my neck like a twig. <laughs> Don't tempt me. You can't go around stealing pictures of people and making up ridiculous stories. Well, I, I didn't make up everything. I am a novelist. Right now, I'm writing a story about a guy who meets a beautiful woman, doctors a photo, and claims to be her past life soulmate. So you were using me as material? No, no, look, it's not like that at all. Susan, try to imagine what it's like to see someone and fall in love instantly and know that that person is so far out of your league, you'll never have a chance to be with them. Oh, Paul, that's just a, a fact, Susan. People like you 
Don't go out with people like me, believe me, I know. And no matter how much you try to pretend it doesn't matter or how well you brace yourself for it, it still hurts. So rather than getting rejected, I just thought I'd come up with a way to intrigue you. Well, it doesn't justify lying to me. I know, and I'm really sorry. But if I hadn't, I never would have ended up getting to know you. And I wouldn't trade that for anything. How does it end? What? Your story. Oh, well, the guy ends up telling the beautiful woman the truth, and uh, she gets really furious. <laughs> Then she forgives him, and they sleep together. <laughs> That's why they call it fiction. <laughs> oh, Susan, hold that elevator, please. All right, all right, things didn't work out with the guy, but look on the bright side. At least you weren't murdered. I know. <laughs> there is a part of me that would like to believe that there is a soulmate out there for me somewhere. <sighs> Maybe in the next life. Come on, Grandma. <laughs> Sorry it took me so long. What did you just say? Sorry it took me so long. Why? Oh, man. More tea, miss? No, thanks. I'm good. <laughs> no, me too. Look, uh, Lindsay. This has been, uh, well, delightful. But, uh, I think that we're gonna take off now. No! <laughs> Mr. Richmond said you'd play all day. You don't want me to tell him you didn't, do you? No, but at this point, I really don't care whether... Ow! <laughs> it hurts, doesn't it?